more importantly, how the hell am I going to get back over there within the time limit? Okay, so it is plausible to do. Probably should not be going for this dust relic, considering how much time I have on my hands. As we're going into the red. Okay, I think I can do this. No! Go! Go! Huzzah! Collected every last tier of din, and spirit has grown. The trial will continue until you exit the silent realm. Yada yada yada. I almost ran off there, right into the awakening water. Luckily, I stopped my shield. Uh, we cannot go back the way we came, which is unfortunate. I wonder what's this way. Glow fruit. And nothing else. Oh god. This could be problems! Especially with him right there. And that thing right there. Go! Go for the love of God, go! Oh my God. I have never actually done that in which I uh, hit some awakening water or the uh, little <laughs> reaper things after I finished it. But I was pretty sure that's what would happen, and it did. And that was so adrenaline packed. Anyways, we got the fire shield earrings, so now we have to get our ears pierced. Which is going to require the, uh, the ear piercer of power, wisdom, and courage to be combined to become the master ear piercer. Now we just, just put them in our ears. There they are. Quite fashionable. Injection of newly acquired fire shield earrings will allow you to safely travel to extremely hot areas and recommend continuing your search for the sacred flame. Let's save after that heart attack. And let's go to an extremely hot place. Bam. All right, so back up here. Um, speaking of which, get the bug net out. Out of sheer curiosity, indeed it does. Ah, gotcha. We got one Elden Roller. These small-bodied bugs roll a big ball of dot 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 something. The way they're busily roll stuff back and forth in this is quite adorable. So we got one of those. And they shine, and we can go forth. Remember that place where we couldn't go before? Now we can go there. I have a status update for you, Master. We are now near the center of the peak of Elden Volcano. Volcano Summit. 
detecting extremely high temperatures in this area. However, the fire shield earrings will allow for extended ex periods of e for exploration of expert what? I calculate the probability of finding a final secret flame here at 90%. I recommend searching for flames. Ah. Right. So, there's a lot of these things falling from the sky. Anyways, so what you're supposed to do is come down here. Dodge these things, which are different from the fire shooting ones. They shoot curses! And out here... Find a nice little spring to wash off in. Ah, I now <laughs> no longer am heated up like a... Uh, or whatever it's called. And let's go skydiving! Get that one out of the way. Bing! Now we grab these. And shoot our way back. Yeah, so uh, you're gonna wanna consoive your uh, stamina. Where is the other thing? on this because like n none of them have an actual top except for the last one I think this is the one where you actually need to move there we go up to the top you get an amber relic because why not Get a lot of those. Let's get our uh, bombs, and we see some butterflies here. I wonder. Boing! He gives us a jelly blob. Rumor has it that drawing an arrow shape on certain walls will cause an object of similar shape to appear. He's just telling us another recipe for the goddess walls, as they are called. And we get some ladybugs. Got two volcanic ladybugs. They say that these bugs get their deep red hue from the ore they eat. They are slow moving and tend to stay in one place. Now then, I'm going to require two bottles of water. So long, fairy. I hardly knew ye. You got some water! It's just normal water, but it might come in handy. You got some water! It's just normal water, but it might come in handy sometime. Right now, with our new extended stamina gauge, let's run the other way. Dodge that thing. Don't, don't go head first into the lava. <coughs> oh, hey, we meet again. How have you been, bud? I rumbled over here because I heard something had spotted some goddess cubes in the area. I have got a hunt that they be down in that direction, but this flaming wall of fire is blocking my the way. Wish there was something we could do to put out these flames. 
Daddy, Master, I have information for you. If the enhanced capabilities of your sword, you are now able to use your dra drowsing ability to find goddess cubes. I have taken the liberty of registering goddess cubes as a drowsing target. Ta-da! Right, so this basically says you have to quench his thirst. This is a frog. But not Kermit the Frog, so we'll give him a drink. And fire disappears. Hey, the flames are out! Now we can get through here! And some more blessed butterflies. Boing. Now we get some Elden Ore. So this guy basically says is there's a uh, piece of heart around here. If only we could dig like a magma, which is those things that gave us the claws of which we're using to dig. Um, we could get to it. Which uh, is kind of cryptic until you actually complete the dungeon. But anyways, you go down there. Uh, so this one, this one is tricky. But basically, you go up here. I love it when I actually remember things. Grab the other bottle of water. Hey, nice work, bud. Now we are getting somewhere. Right, so let's dig up these places. More hearts. And a digger. Don't go too terribly fast when you're trying to get these things, because you can squish them. And sometimes they'll just fly off, like assholes. So right here we see... A big one! Do you see this, bud? Talk about intriguing! We're definitely off the map here! This does not feel like goddess cube stuff to me, but I bet there's something super important hidden around here. All I can say is that the big frog with a big thirst and I don't think the amount of water in your little bottles can hold anything is going to cut it this time. Mm. Hmm, you will have to use a big container to hold the water needed for this job. Got anything like that? Speaking of which, where you... Going to get all that water. I gotta say, I'm pretty much stumped. For now. Um, I'm going to do all the stuff we can do at this juncture, at this time. To, uh, get stuff. Before, uh, doing the thing of which we have to do to progress. I miss my upgraded beetle for my practice file so much right now. Drop this right on ourselves. Grabs a rupee. Oh, that's the uh, stamina thing. I'm like, what's that beeping? Huh, I thought there was a pot on the uh, upper upper part. But anyways, we can get up here. Grab our claw shots. Up we go. Do a little lawn mowing. Grab this again. And there we see one of our lizard friends. Huzzah! He can knock you off. 